Hi, and welcome to Text Nation TV. This week, it's all about the smartwatch. Oh, where's mine? Hi, and welcome to Text Nation TV. My name's Rusty G. I'm Alan. And this week, like we said, it's all about the uh, smartwatch. And I went and got mine after the intro got started there. So, uh, yeah, so these technically aren't watches. Um, these are iPods that play music, um, and they do the Nike thing, they do the radio thing, um, kind of a dumb thing, It's but it's still, you know, I guess... Yeah, I don't think it was really meant, meant to be a watch, but I think it started with some guy on Kickstarter right. said, that should be a watch, and he created a watch band right. to encompass this device. And, and I think that's where that company came from, where you got your yours there, correct? Uh, Lunatic? Lunatic, yeah. TikTok, Lunatic, all those tick watches. That I don't know. Okay. Well, I, I, would I say. like this one the best because uh, I have scratched the side of the case, right. but the iPod itself is safe. Yeah, which which I've told him before. I went and got, um, I cannot remember for the life of me, uh, iBand or something like that, uh, leather. Uh, it's a full band that the watch just kind of clips on. And I told him before, I said, dead gummit, I've already got a crack in the glass right here. I've got scratches on the side, you know, but I, I, I like the leather style over uh, the big rubber style looking thing. So, you know, it's to each his own, but there's all sorts of them out there. There's metal ones that look more classic yeah. uh, that you could wear to dinner or something like that. Um, but the idea of the smartwatch has actually been around since Dick Tracy days. If oh, you've yeah. ever seen the Dick Tracy movie or read the uh, Dick Tracy comics back in the day, for those of you that are even older that had them. And grew up with them. The idea of being able to communicate mm -hmm. with someone via wristwatch has been around for uh, forever. So th I think that's where now the phone, smartphone slash smart watch is starting to do that crossover. So we we, we picked out a few that we wanted yeah. to talk about, other than the iPod Nano, because obviously it's not a smartphone, smart watch, or anything, because you can't connect it. But after seeing what you're about to see, the new iPod Nano this year may be Bluetooth connected to your iPhone, you know, so. Because the competition is out there. And speaking of Kickstarter, boy. Speaking of Kickstarter, I apologize for that. Uh, the first first one that we wanted to kind of talk about, this one actually is fairly, fairly exciting just because I was watching this earlier today. Uh, it's called the Pebble E-Watch, or actually E-Paper Watch, um, that they were looking for, what was it, $100,000? $100,000. And they have now raised over a million dollars. That is ridiculous. Almost As of this 1. recording, 1 million. yeah, that tells you how much people want these things. That it, it's it's got to be kids that are seeing it and old dads that had you know read the Dick Tracy comics and things like that. We're we're looking what we, what you're looking at is it's e paper that is behind this watch, so that it's flexible. You're able to see it in the daylight. If you watch the Kickstarter video. Uh, the guy explains, you know, it's e-paper, it it's, can be changed. Also, they're going to be releasing an open SDK mm -hmm. so that you can change things inside the watch. If you want to change it to look like a Mickey Mouse face, if you want it to change with big triangles for your hands, if you want it to be skinny little lines for your clock hands, whatever it is, you can actually go through and change it up. Unlimited with options with e-paper. I think the size color. Yeah, obviously. It's, it's just going to be, you know, black and white or grayscale or whatever, you know. That's what we're looking at here. Um, and like I said, it's called the Pebble. Uh, it's uh, arm powered, which is great. So off of one charge, it should last you seven days, which is great. Mm -hmm. I would think it would be longer being the fact it's e-paper. Yeah, I can get about seven days with just mine. Yeah, well, I use mine every day for music. I actually have a pair of headphones plugged in, so mm -hmm. mine lasts for about a day and a half <laughs> or so. So yeah, not that much. But the cool thing about this watch is not only is it just a, a dead, non, you know, a dumb watch, it's a smartphone watch because what it'll do is it'll connect to your smartphone, get the GPS information so that if you want to take it out uh, bike riding, if you want to take it out running, whatever it is, it's also got a pedometer in it as well so you can keep up with where you're at, how far you're running, so on and so forth. Um, it, it comes in at a price at $99 for an entry level fee. You can actually go to the Kickstarter page here. And right there, you can actually donate a dollar just to say that you support it, but that does mm -hmm. not get you the watch. $99 <laughs> is the entry fee to at least get the black watch. There's a color option if you watch the video, 
that you can choose. Basically, mm -hmm. you get a, a chance to vote for the third watch color because they're doing black, yeah. white, and the third color is up in the arms right now. But $99 will get you the black watch only. Yeah. And I mean, looking at the thing, it comes with caller ID, email, calendar alerts, Twitter, weather, you know, all your basic information stuff, and you can keep your phone in your pocket or your, as they showed in the video, in a backpack or something like that, and keep all your information. So if you see somebody calling, it'll actually show up on the watch. And so, oh yeah, John's calling. Okay, I'll go get my phone out of my wherever. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that was kind of cool was... I don't know if it was this watch or maybe another one, but I'm sure it's going to be you know synonymous with all of them. Was controlling the iPhone mm -hmm. uh, from afar, so that if you've got your iPhone, smartphone, whatever docked into a speaker dock, yeah. you can actually control your music as it goes as well. So that was really great. It's all via Bluetooth, I think, is the way they're all working it, so that you can get that information passed back and forth directly from the smartphone. So awesome. Can you make a phone call from it yet? No. You know, can I call 911 in case of an emergency? No, you're still going to have to call the phone. So, but I, I do say this this is kind of reminiscent of the phone that we talked about earlier in a very much earlier episode. Uh, we actually talked about this watch from Italy, which at first was one of the biggest watches, was like 10 grand. Mm -hmm. And tell us, tell us a little bit more about that watch for those of you that did, we didn't see that episode. Well, it's called the I'm Watch, I apostrophe M Watch. And like I said, it's come, it comes from Italy and they claim to be the world's first actual smart watch. Right. You can make phone calls from it. Okay, you can. Okay. It's got um, applications like Facebook, Twitter, weather. The list goes on and on with this watch. Also, also I can tell you the time. <laughs> That's the thing about these smart watches. <laughs> That's a side feature. <laughs> yeah, you may actually not find where it's at uh, when you're looking for it. But a cool watch still. Um, I think they're still in the development phase. I mean, you can buy one, but yeah. they're going to have updates coming out to where you can pretty much just you can take care of all your business on your wrist with this watch. Right. Uh, the price is pretty expensive for this one. It right. starts about 500 up to 3000 Wow. So they dropped that $10,000. Yeah, range. they had a $10,000 jewel-encased one when they first... Um, came out and I guess we discussed how ridiculous that is <laughs> and I guess they were watching and maybe uh, decided not to do that. <laughs> Love it. But um, with the applications and everything, uh, I like it. It's got a good looking interface. Yeah. And Plus theirs has a lot of color to it too. They have multiple colors that you can choose from instead of like the first one we were talking about, black, white. Yeah, it's and like and a bag of Skittles, whatever. <laughs> Whatever you want to coordinate with your outfit that day, you can pick a watch band for Now, it. didn't they have uh, multiple models of this? It wasn't just because that was the reason for the 500 to 3,000. There were different options that you could get. Yeah, it's uh, like you got the, the rubber band. Right. You got the metal band, the leather right. band. Right. Pretty much all your band styles. Also, and there's the face. The You can pick different metals. Right. And like I said, some had jewels on them. Some right. didn't. So... Pretty much whatever you want in a watch, you can go to the website and choose what you want. So, so for those of you that just won the lottery out in Maryland, <laughs> we've got a watch for you. <laughs> I I like it, but for that price, I would oh, also built in memory as well. How much memory are we talking? Do you know? Uh, up to 128 megs. Okay, so the, not yeah for the expensive model. Basically, a micro SD card. But sliding. for a watch, I mean, what do we have? 16. <laughs> yeah, Eight. I've got a 16 gig. So yeah, it seems kind of. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I will say this, though. I would have never gotten mine the way that it is if it wasn't for him. And the fact that Apple replaced my previous iPod Nano for free for with this iPod Nano. So kind of two, two, two things, you know, got me into it. You know, you know what? I love it. You know, I, I have to tell people all the time, like, what kind of watch is that? And I'm like, well, it's not really a watch. It's an iPod. It just happens to be on a wrist that looks like a watch. And they're like, look, Jerry, I just want to know the time. <laughs> so anyway, this phone, or not this phone, this this smartwatch actually coming from Sony, uh, a little bit smaller, but still the same design as far as a clip that goes behind and sits on a, a band of some sort. Mm -hmm. uh, this is kind of uh, Sony-ish. They're calling it the Sony smartwatch, a.k.a. Sony Ericsson Live U2. Um, it's, 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 it's all right, I guess. I, I just... I just don't like the fact that to get all the stuff, you have to be connected to your phone. Yeah. yeah. I mean, even with the, the first phone that we were talking about, I think some of that can be without having the phone. 
Uh, the Sony is running $149. It just came to the U.S. It's actually been in the U.K. for you know quite a bit. Uh, it was actually shown back at CES in January. It's based off of Android. Uh, and I mean, you got your Bluetooth 3.0, uh, which we're actually slowly moving to, towards Bluetooth 4 uh, for the new iPhone 4S and a couple other devices that are using iPhone or Bluetooth 4. Uh, so Bluetooth 3 comes in standard. You've got uh, Android 2.0. Um, it's if, if you watch the video here, uh, it's got Facebook, it's got Twitter, it does your missed calls, caller ID, all that same stuff that we've been talking about, which is cool. I just, I, I don't know if I like this one as well mm -hmm. as some of these others have been designed very well. I, I just think this was just kind of thrown together to make things work. It does all the same stuff, like I said, running pedometer, timer, you know, I don't know about GPS. It doesn't say anything about GPS. Um, but it can read your text, email, social updates, control your music playback, um, all sorts of stuff. So I mean, like I said, we're we're st we still the one thing that out of these three watches and the next one we're actually going to talk about. I don't think any of these watches have the camera though. None of them have the front facing camera. So that's the only thing that we're missing mm -hmm. is being able to communicate via you know FaceTime or you know video that chat. That would be a true Dick Tracy watch. Exactly. So I mean, we're talking early forties. You know when this stuff was coming, you know, to thought about how these watches would react. Um, this this Sony phone, I, I don't know much more details other than the fact it's one hundred forty nine dollars, and you you have to hook it up to your Sony Ericsson phone. I think if you are strictly a Sony user, right, this is the watch for you. If yeah. you're not going anywhere else, you're going to stay with Sony. Yeah, this is the watch for you. Yeah. So I mean, just just to let you know, it's out there. It's an option that you can get. Um, would I get it? Probably not. So that brings us to the not the last, but one of the last ones, or well, I'll say the last one for this episode. Yeah. Uh, tell us about this watch. This one was kind of offbeat. Yeah, this one's called the Wim W I double M. It's from Wim Labs, and like the other watches, it's about the same shape, but this one is more like the iPod we have. Right. You can take it off. Right. And it's about the same size. I think it's a little, maybe a little thicker, but it's around the same size. And it has different docks that you can put it in. They offer a, um, you can turn it into a keychain, okay. a necklace, right? Uh, pretty much everything that you can do with an iPod, right? Six uh, generation that you can do with this one, right? And they make different things for that, and they that's available in their store. Also, speaking of stores, though, they've developed an app store, that, all their own. They have their own app store. If you buy this watch, then you can go to their app store and get those apps directly sent to your watch, which that's kind of cool. Right. That's a, that's a step in the right direction there. Well, I was going to say, tell us about the one cool thing that this one had that none of the other ones had that I thought was pretty cool, which we couldn't figure out how it would do it, but go Mo ahead. Mobile paying. Right. Um, in the video you watch, the lady sitting at the restaurant, she sees her check, and they say it's already paid. Yeah. So I don't know if NFC is involved or... Right. Some sort of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, <laughs> magic, <laughs> sorcery, but somehow, Wizards. somehow you can have mobile payment with this phone. And well, with things out like Square, mm -hmm. that you know the new uh, Pay with Square app for mm -hmm. iOS. I know you can do that just by being in the GPS location and going, yeah, I'm gonna pay my bill with my phone. But I'm not being, but a boom. So it yeah, and I know like Visa's working on stuff like that. American Express working on stuff like that. And into it's got one right pretty much now since square came out everybody's trying to get out on that train everybody saw square get blown up so yeah yeah so i don't know if nfc's involved or if it's as Ru like rusty described but that's that's a really cool thing and price isn't that bad it's 199 yeah you get all this and you can buy it at the amazon store okay one last watch, and this will be the last watch, I apologize. This is one I sent to you earlier this morning that actually kind of got our conversation started about how I'm doing this episode. Uh, the Clock 2 W wristwatch actually spells out the time in words. It doesn't put it to you in you know a regular you know number face. It doesn't put it to you in digital. It doesn't do analog. It doesn't do anything but words. So for instance, this picture that you're seeing right now is half past 12, and it's actually in words. It's uh, by a German studio. Uh, Bleggert and Funk, uh, they made the letters up in a press, and when you press the side button, it shows up in intervals of five minutes. So it'll say it's five past two, or it's ten past, or you know, fifteen, whatever it may be. It might even say a quarter past. The thing about this is there's no price for the United States yet, so there's there's no stateside uh, time of seeing when this watch is going to be available. Uh, right now, the clock, the 
uh, watch starts at eleven hundred dollars, which is actually five hundred and fifty euros. Or actually, I'm I'm sorry, I'm reading this reading this wrong. Five hundred fifty euros or seven hundred US. The eleven hundred was for something else. Um, but yeah, <laughs> uh, there's an iOS and Android app available so that you can get in there and change things around. That's the thing is. Oh really? Yeah, I want to be able to. That's the thing is, I want to be able to change it. Much like the iPod Nano has the different faces mm -hmm. for different times of, you know, dress up or whatever. So this watch has a flat face then. I thought, because I've seen different, like on Instructables, people make clocks like this. Right. But the letters are always up. It's just a backlit. Yeah. The time changes. Yeah. It's that, like an that Ar Arduino be. kind of a chip is hooked behind it, show, you know, flashing lights behind the correct words. Right. It, it may be. It may be. To be honest with you, I did not read that much into this one. Mm -hmm. um, but it does say that it has dots as well so that you can count. So if it's in between that five minute interval, you can see it's five minutes past two plus two dots. It's seven after two. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, like I said, it's it's a little, you know, it's a little super kind of nerdy. Yeah. You know? it's, it's, it's not it's a, a binary watch. watch. Yeah. It's not a binary watch. I can tell you that. I would never have a binary clock. It's zero one zero one zero one zero one. Well, it's one zero 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 one one zero one in my time zone. So, either way, but uh, that's that's what we want to talk about. That's that'll be the future. Uh, like I said, I, I seriously think that the iPod Nano, the next generation, mm -hmm. just because the iPod Touch hasn't been touched since 2010, yeah. so I think this year the iPod Touch will get changed around. I think the iPod Nano will get changed around, possibly have that Bluetooth hookup, just because. Okay, so we're having te technical difficulties there, so that's what that was. But either way, no, like I was saying, is the iPod Nano... <laughs> the iPod Nano will end up being, I think, if they do the Bluetooth connectivity to it, Will end up being the next thing. Mm -hmm. If with all these smartphone watch or smart watches coming out, I just see that will be the natural progression of these. So you know, being able to use GPS, being able to read your text messages. The the iOS is already behind this. Yeah. The apps are already there. All they gotta do is port it over and say, I can read your text messages from your phone. Great for people like me that have the iPhone and the Nano. Great for people like him who have the iPod and the, or the Nano and the iPhone. For you people with Androids, not so much. Should you go Sony and go that route with their Android phone? Do you have to get a Sony phone? You know, that's the thing. Is, yeah. That's the thing is, I kind of wish it were... And cloud maybe coming to this. Really? I don't know. I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> Apple can make it happen. Hey, iCloud backing up your, you know, contacts from your phone or whatever. So every yeah. time you walk into a... That's, that would be cool, like, if you walk into a certain place and they do that with the pay thing... You know, you walk into a place like, oh yeah, sh sh pay my bill, Pff, you're done. You know, so or you have your wallet all on your phone. Forget it, the geode, we'll have all our wallet on the phone, so or on the watch. So, but that's it for this week. Make sure you follow us online in all four different locations. I'm having a little trouble with the website right now, um, not being able to update it. So I think the last episode you were able to see is 33. If you go to textnation.tv. Hold off, I'm trying to get that fixed. It doesn't really work right now. So just go to our YouTube page, youtube.com slash TV. You can follow us online on Twitter, twitter.com slash TV. And then also for all those, all of those who are on Facebook, facebook.com slash TV. And the last and final, gplus.to slash TV for those of you on Google+. Add us into your circles, like us for your pages, follow us on Twitter, do whatever it is, subscribe, on YouTube, whatever it is, yeah. for whatever social page. Don't forget to add this guy, because this guy finally joined the social world, and I have never seen somebody so excited to tweet so much about stuff. He's, you know, he's going to PodCamp, so by the time you're watching this, you either better be at PodCamp, or you had seen him at PodCamp. He'll be out passing cards, yeah. things like that. So say hi, you know, say, hey, I saw you on Text Nation. We're going to get to see, or you're going to get to see Jeff Smith from Ringtone Feeder, previously iPhoneRingtones.com. Mm -hmm. um, we're actually gonna hopefully do an interview here in a little bit with him. Yeah. Uh, I gotta sit down with him and set everything up with that, so we'll sit down and you know work things out with that. But that's it for this week's episode of Text Nation TV. Stay tuned for Text Nation Text Minute.